hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we are still talking about how to shade with the pen i recently discovered that most beginner artists still have difficulties with how to shade with the pen shading is a very easy process and as we all know we have just four basic shading technique with the pen So the first one is known as arching, which involves movement of stroke in one particular order. In order to allow your shade to be okay, you need to learn to hold your pen the right and comfortable way the best way is to lay your pen in between your first two fingers and place your thumb on your pen lightly to have a kind of a loose grip to allow control and movement from your two fingers if you hold it this way you might not have a consistent shade movement so holding your pen this way is always preferable either at the close to the tip of the pen or at the far edge so basically have a movement before allowing your pen touch the paper so i start slightly first and your grip matters a lot Same goes with cross arching. The only difference is that cross arching comes in multiple directions and it's the easiest and fastest way to get a consistent good shade with your pen. This particular method of shading is mainly for really dark areas going straight with heavy pressure but to get a smooth shading starts with a light stroke and another light stroke from multiple directions until you cover up all the white spaces left on your paper. The next is scribbling, mostly used for realistic skin textures. 
in this case you can change the way you grip your pen to enable easy scribbling on your paper first start with bigger scribble then you reduce the size to get a smooth shade and cover up any white space left The last is pointillism which is rarely used. It involves using tiny dots to represent your artwork. So let's demonstrate these techniques with an object which in this case I will be using a cube as an example. Starting with the arching technique, let's say the light source falls from the top here. This side will be dark because it is facing away from the light source. Here will be the shadow fall and here will be light and we start shading from here a dark arching technique. Then here will be light. Then our shadow will fall here. And same will apply to other techniques too. So this is me like giving you an assignment to go learn and practice with the other technique and see how you have mastered these techniques well.
so don't forget to give this video a like share and subscribe to my channel if you always find my content interesting Thank you for watching till the end and I hope to see you in my next video.